So for anybody out there who needs it, this is an explanation of the boycott of Eurovision 2024 and how it all played out, told through basically just one metaphor about people going to a party. Thank you. Hey, did you get your invitation to Vivian's party? Um, of course I did. Super excited. And I heard that Lucy's gonna be there this year. Shut up, that's so exciting! Oh my god, last year's party was so much fun, I'm just so glad that she gets to be there this time. Oh yeah, same. And Fred's gonna be there, I think Nora and Danica are gonna swing by, Isabel's gonna be there, um... Wait, for real, Isabel got invited? Yeah, she comes every year, what's the problem? Well, no, 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 I'm not surprised, but like, does Vivian know about Isabel and... Steph? Oh yeah, they have beef or something, right? I mean, do you not want Isabel to be there? I mean, right now, I don't know, I'm not sure, but it's Vivian's party, so maybe she just doesn't know. I'll go talk to Vivian about it. Fast forward, it is now December. Hey, okay, so weird thing, uh, Vivian blocked me, like, on everything. Ah, uh, that's crazy, what did you do? No, nothing happened, I just tried to tell her that I had a problem with Isabel going to the party, given what she did to Steph. Mm, isn't it what Steph did to Isabel? Oh, you're thinking about when Steph spilled her drink on Isabel's dress back in October, right? Spilled on purpose. Or at least that's what I heard. I don't know. I wasn't there. Well, I mean, I wasn't there either, and I know stains are really hard to have to deal with, but apparently right after that, Isabel spilled her drink on Steph's dress. Okay, tip for tap. Seems even then. Does that mean Isabel can't come to the party? Well, no, but that's not all, because not only did she spill her drink on Steph's dress one time, she did it again, and then after that, she also stole Steph's purse, and then I heard something about Isabel throwing Steph's shoes into a lake. It's like, it's getting really excessive. Okay, it's really complicated beef, but Vivian's not, like, in charge of settling that. Um, you're right, she very much isn't, but, you know, this is about the party invite, and when I tried to talk to her about it, I got blocked, and even though that seems excessive, it just seems like that's what she wants to do about it, so, I, I don't know, could you try to talk to Vivian for a little bit? Okay, yeah, Isabel is getting a bit excessive with it, and I really do feel for Steph, I do, but again, like you said, this is about the party, and I feel like Steph has other things to worry about than a party. I don't think her feelings are gonna be hurt too much, you know? Yeah, another good point. Eh, I'll just talk around, see what other people think. Fast forward, it is now January. Okay, dude, I just heard that Esther, Lily, and Layla are all gonna be at Vivian's party this year. Cool, yeah, sorry to interrupt, but can I ask your opinion on something? Is it gonna be about Isabel again? Because you're starting to sound a little obsessed. No, I'm being serious. Isabel is losing her mind with the Steph drama. She put nails into Steph's tires. She also broke her window with the brick. And I heard that Vivian's mom is getting paid by Isabel's mom to invite Isabel to the party. And like, nobody can agree on who should apologize to who first. It's insane. I mean, how did you not hear about any of this? Oh no, I heard. I actually saw Isabel do most of those things when she posted them on TikTok. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, no, I heard. Okay, and you seem cool with it. Cool with it? Oh, no, 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 no. It's all messed up. But, you know, like, I wanted to talk about the party. The party? The party that Isabel is going to be at? Yeah, I know, but Vivian has made it, like, really clear to everybody that her parties are about squashing beef, not fighting about it. Squashing beef? Be serious. It's more like ignoring it because Rebecca and Julia came to the party together for years and everybody knew their beef was, like, far from squashed, all right? And then when Rebecca gave Julia that black eye before the party in 2022, Vivian asked Rebecca not to come. Well, yeah, because even when Rebecca did come to the party, she was always fake nice to everybody and she was always trying to like start something. It was really obvious. And Isabel doesn't do that? I don't know, does she? She always seems really happy to be there to me. Yeah, and Rebecca seemed to have fun too, but we knew she was fake because Julia was there and told all of us that she was being fake, and we all paid attention to what she was doing to Julia. So you're saying if Steph showed up to the party, then everybody would know that Isabel's being fake? I don't know, that just kind of sounds convenient. Well, no, because you said you've seen Isabel doing all of the things that I just mentioned. I know, but once again, it's just a party. Just show up and have fun. And hey, if you really care that much about what Steph feels about it, maybe just go ask Steph what she wants you to do, not me. You know, I'm not Steph. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, maybe I'll go do that. Fast forward again, it is now March. Okay, so Vivian just released the full invite list for her party, and this is going to be the best one in years. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds like it, but I don't think I'm gonna go. 
For real? Why? Yeah, no, I know. I really, really wanted to go this year, and I had my outfit picked out and planned and everything, but I ended up talking to Steph, like you said. Wait, speaking of Steph, didn't I hear that one of Steph's really good friends is actually going to be at the party this year? Oh, you're thinking of Beth. Yeah, Steph's friend. Um, She was supposed to go as Ivy's plus one, but then at the last minute, Ivy decided to invite somebody else. So no, Beth's not going to be there. Oh, I like Beth. But anyway, what did Steph tell you? She asked me not to go, I guess. I mean, I told her how much I wanted to go and how much I thought about going was going to be a good thing for everybody involved, but... The more I talked about it, the more she replied, and the more she replied, I guess this was the conclusion we naturally came to. So yeah, that's why I'm not gonna go, and I think it would really, really mean a lot to Steph if you did the same. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. what about Isabel, all right? It sounds like Steph is just trying to make you take the not Isabel side of it all. Yeah, no, but it's not about that, because you and I have both seen Isabel go way far past the point of justification with all of this. And I like to think that this has nothing to do with Vivian's party, but this is verbatim what Steph asked me to do. All right, okay, just simmer down. I will think about it, okay? Fast forward, it is now April. Hey, did you think about Vivian's party more at all? Oh yeah, I thought about it tons. And uh, yeah, I'm still gonna go. Why? Uh, because I'm a person with free will. Okay, let's not talk about Steph for one second. Let's actually talk about Vivian because since November, she has had me blocked on everything. She made up a bunch of weird reasons to everybody why she dropped Rebecca but won't drop Isabel. And she's kind of just trying her best to ignore it all. She just won't talk about it. Ah, well, hold up. I tried to talk about it with Vivian too, not long after you did. She did end up blocking me too, though. Okay, and you're still gonna go to the party? Yes, because a lot of our friends are going to be there. And there's going to be a lot of people there who have expressed that they really empathize with Steph. That's great, but Steph didn't ask us to go to the party and feel sorry for her there. She asked us not to go. Well, actually, you know how Steph broke her leg recently? A few of us went above and beyond and we started a charity for Steph. Here, check it out. Okay, Steph didn't break her leg. Isabel broke Steph's leg on purpose. And this isn't a charity, this is just Steph's Venmo written down on a napkin. Yes, and we're gonna share the Venmo napkin at the party. Steph did not ask us to share her Venmo napkin with people at the party. She asked us not to go. Oh my god, shut up. You have been harassing me and everybody else going to the party for months and it's just, it's getting so performative, it's so obvious. Performative for doing the one thing Steph asked me to do and recommending you do the same. You're not spreading the word, you're just harassing me and judging everybody else. But you said yourself that you've seen every horrible thing that Isabel's been doing, Vivian has had you blocked online for months, and I'm not trying to say you don't sympathize with Steph or you're not on Steph's side. I am saying you're not doing the thing she asked you to do. So you get to decide that my support of Steph means nothing? Yeah, when you go back to posting and talking about how excited you are for Vivian's party 24-7 after mentioning Steph maybe once, yeah, it seems a little bit like crap. Uh, you were posting about Vivian's party too. Oh, I never said I didn't. What I am saying is that circumstances and times and reasons have changed how I feel about this current situation. So if my feelings change, then my actions are going to change too. And judging by how your actions haven't really shifted that much at all, I'm gonna say it again, it seems like crap. It really sucks to hear you say that. Not as much as it sucks to see you do this, but whatever. Fast forward, it's now June. Hey, I know you didn't end up going to the party, but I just wanted to let you know, like, even more people showed up this year than last year's party. Okay. Yeah, and it was fun, I think. I mean, Isabel ended up saying a lot of rude things to a lot of the people that were there, and everybody was really irritated by her. She was, like, all up in everybody's personal space. Oh, and Nathan got kicked out. For some reason, Vivian hasn't really told us why she kicked Nathan out, but yeah. So to recap, even though you and I both care about Steph's well-being, you went to the party when she asked us not to. Um, you still paid Vivian to be there. Isabel upset everybody there, and for some reason, Nathan got kicked out, not Isabel. Um, yep. And I suppose you're already planning on going to the party again next year. Uh, yep. Great.